All right, just a quick um, book review, or actually a book plug. I haven't, I just started reading this. Um, this is a first hand source account on the CIA uh, drug smuggling industry. And Douglas Valentine was a English uh, literary major, something like that. He He's an excellent writer. It's a very smooth read, very enjoyable. It's a travel book where he interviews um, CIA drug smug or people people in the CIA directly connected to the drug smuggling. You can see the plug here. It says the BBC in bed with the CIA whitewashing its opium and heroin trafficking around the world as and the slaughter of millions across Southeast Asia. So this is uh Definitely dark, dark arts. And I highly recommend uh, Pisces Moon. And I just would like to say that in the context of um, abrupt global warming, global warming and the ecological crisis, um, Douglas Valentine, he's, he's willing to question, you know, Western, Western values on a deep, deep level, uh, religion and philosophy. And if you consider that, um, what we call science is not exactly so objective in the physics when you're destroying um, ecology and this is now especially obvious with the um, CO2 emissions being a hundred times greater than the um, biosphere uh, normal for the last well, just for life on Earth, you know. So we are, the normal background is 100 times less. And so all of this is going to disappear very fast. Um, and the... Um, uh, Peter Wadham, Wadham just spoke a few weeks ago on YouTube saying that the Arctic is melting uh, seven times faster than the rest of the world. In certain parts of the Arctic, it's uh, 13 degrees warmer than normal instead of the, you know, supposed two degree increase that everybody's concerned about. And it's so, it's so much higher than normal, 13 degrees, that the scientists are not even talking about it because they don't have an explanation for why it's happening. And since we're supposed to be living in a, you know, rational scientific reality, then we need, we're supposed to have, you know, explanations. We're supposed to know why. And, of course, people want uh, an objective truth. But if you look at, like, Douglas Valentine, he's interacting with uh, cultures that rely on, um, traditionally, they were uh, Buddhist, uh, relying on meditation. And when you get into meditation, then you really have a different understanding of what is objective reality and what is life on earth 
He's even got color photographs. So, and he's this is the author. He's like a he. He seems to be, you know, um, proud of his lean lean. Uh, um. Body, body. I guess I'll just say that he's he um you know he's able to fit in in a lot of different situations, and he was able to uh, befriend the CIA, and then of course they realized he wasn't gonna just brown nose the CIA drug smuggling but that's apparently that's what they thought he was going to do and so um, you know in like with deep the most famous um, meditation monk in Thailand uh, Phra Acharn Mung he actually levitated he, he or his um, meditation partner was would levitate regularly and so you know we think of physics as this hard reality where you know you have the law of gravity that that nobody can question but the fact is, is that the origin of life itself through um, meditation even questions um, what we think of as the hardest um concrete truth of physics you know that you're gonna you can't go against gravity but if you take life seriously as people have done in non-western cultures then you can actually experience levitation and Um, so, um, Douglas Valentine was actually going to write a book with Richard Secord. They were going to write a book together, but then Richard Secord realized apparently that, you know, Douglas Valentine wasn't just going to brown nose the whitewash the um, whole drug smuggling and massacre, genocide mode of operation of empire um, and so once we wipe out the um, ecology by you know, through this supposed hard physics progress, then we discover that um, Mother Nature is in charge and we were never really in charge. Um, all along, so... But this is going to be a fascinating read in terms of the actual, what it takes to maintain the empire, which is this illegal, um, drug smuggling and assassinations and massacres and torture and, you know, what they consider to be the real, the real deal of power, just like, you know, whatever war is going on, but in Africa, they just use children, they give them machine guns or whatever, AK, whatever guns to the children, and they have children armies, as long as they can pull a trigger, you know, then you can be a real man, based on hard physics, but eventually... This is going to catch up to 
how to grow food. You can't grow food when it's too hot, too hot outside. If you try to air condition it, it's just going to make the outside hotter. And then you start running out of water, and then the air is polluted from all the various activities. And then you get radiation from all the depleted uranium bullet bullets and the you know well we can have clean nuclear power we're just gonna mine some more uranium and we'll figure out what to do with the waste later on that kind of thing um, oh, they're safe. There's no radiation um, being emitted all the time from these nu nuclear power plants, you know. Uh, look at, you know, France was clean. Like, this is <laughs> as if Western imperialism was just such a clean, safe, wonderful... So obviously we all we enjoy the conveniences of um, technology, but this is what it's really based on. It's really based on this chimpanzee violence, essentially, that um, thinks it's being objective and honest and, and, you know, it's just like trying to attack the weak, take advantage of the weak, and then try to create some power system of hierarchy that's fascist and, um, eventually... It's going to rapidly just wipe out all of life on the planet. It's just going to keep getting worse. So, um, he's getting into the mind control stuff here. And... So, we shall read this book word for word. So, here you have USA money to produce heroin. <laughs> USA ID. It's just classic. Um, and... Anyway, yeah. So it's like this all gets back down to quantum physics because most, even physicists, they, they end up, they learn classical physics first, and that's the problem. Um, so then they, they learn quantum physics later, and then they think they understand it, but they don't realize that actually reality is based on quantum physics. And if you don't learn quantum physics first, then you're always going to have the wrong foundation of reality in terms of science. So science is like gone full circle. Um, I was just listening to uh, Bernard Carr, the professor. He was a student of um, Stephen Hawking. And he gave a great talk on that. I've corresponded with him also. Um,
And so there you go. The this is getting into stolen art, stolen antiquities, which is pretty fascinating. Detachment from reality is key. Is the key. Detachment from reality is the price of admission into America's cult of the warrior hero. <laughs> That's good stuff. So this is all going to come crashing back into the U.S. like the imperial implosion is full on right now. It's Douglas Valentine. He even exposed uh, Daniel Ellsberg as lying about his involvement in Operation Phoenix, uh, the um, assassination uh, squads in uh, Indochina. Um, you know, so the the lies go deep. And he's kind of like um, Peter Dale Scott in terms of he's a literary, he has a literary background, but then he got involved in exposing the CIA drug smuggling and various psychological warfare and conspiracies and all that. Let's see, let's see how much he cites Peter Dale Scott in this book. Peter Dale Scott. What have you Summer Scott? They know it's a good book when they have an index. Nope, no Peter Dale Scott. Oh, he's got Sterling Seagrave. Yeah, so he, he's got some lit literary... Um, links or whatever commentary on various books Ooh, John Alpert there's another Phil Agee they're still using the the active ingredient if Agent Orange is currently being sold for use in farms on the in the US so this is not this is not just gone away thank you very much